I just wanted to post an update. This is that penetration where we use the crushed walnut shell. This penetration has gaps all around it. There are a variety of additives that we can use to thicken the Ecador up, make it a mastic grade. Um, so cabosil or fumed silica is one. Uh, you can use crushed polyethylene, crushed polystyrene. In this case, I had none of those, but I do have crushed walnut shell. This is gonna take about how much I think I need. And in this case, I had almost an equal part of thickener because I want this really like, I want it to be like peanut butter grade, you know? Something you could stick on the ceiling and have it actually hold up there. So you can already see how thick that's getting it really barely wants to come out. I'm gonna go a little bit more because again, I just want this one thick, thick, thick. I'm just gonna pour a bunch of this out and work off of the surface here. That's gonna do a real good job for me, getting in, filling those gaps and staying there. Now keep in mind, Ecador has no maximum mill thickness. So if you had to fill a blister, this is also one way that you can go about doing a really good blister filling. Is, uh, you're using filler more than you're using product or at least cutting down on the amount of product you use because you've got a bunch of filler. As you can see, it's holding up very nicely. This is three years, two and a half, three years, somewhere in there. Uh, the Ecador will uh, color shift, but it will not chalk or degrade with the UV. And uh, you can see that penetration. It's not only uh, holding up well, but it's allowing for plenty of, uh, of dissimilar movement because this is the vent from a water heater. So it's heating and cooling at different uh, paces than all of this. Um, and that's important. The crushed walnut allows for greater elongation. And you can see that's in there pretty darn well. And that was just a loose vent before the Ecador went on.